Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is a short vlog to let you know that I'm going to be at MCM London, at Excel London, this coming weekend, from Friday through to Sunday, and that's the 25th and 26th, which is the weekend. At some point I'm going to land there on Friday afternoon, I think doors are at 2, and I'll be there all weekend. Now, I'm not talking or exhibiting, as far as I know at the moment, so I'm going to be milling around in a costume. If you see me, pop along, I'll be doing a vlog as I usually do at events and some photos for Facebook. So if you want to be on my Facebook page and in my vlog, find me and we'll do a video selfie. On Friday I'm going to be going as myself because it's a short day, although I will be wearing my 3D printed alien xenomorph arm inspired by scrap metal sculptures. So look out for that. The head isn't finished unfortunately, so I'll just have the arm on. On Saturday, yes, I'm going to be wearing Iron Man, so... Um, I've got to get there on the Docklands Light Railway from a hotel which is about something like five minutes away so it's going to be a fun journey dressed as Iron Man through London. So that's on Saturday and I'll be staying in it as long as I can bear. I did about five hours at Brighton Mini Maker Fair and hopefully I should be to last at least that long before I have to take the lot off. On Sunday I'll be recovering from being trapped in an Iron Man suit for five or six hours so I'm going to be wearing relatively casual clothes. So I really want to use my Mr. Fusion from Back to the Future 1 and 2. So I'm going to be uh, wearing some supporting clothes to carry around Mr. Fusion, loosely based on Marty McFly. So let's see what I've got. So none of these items are actually the right clothing, but I've got some loosely inspired clothing, including a purple t-shirt that's almost the same shade, but not actually the right one. A white shirt, um, the crosses actually go diagonally instead of across, so it's not the right one. A denim jacket, um, which doesn't have the pointy bits and the twin tone on it, so that's not the right one. And a generic red body warmer, which is slightly too large and um, also not the right one. However, I do have Mr. Fusion from Back to the Future, so let's have a look at that. So on the table we have Mr. Fusion, complete with a working catch. And this is 3D printed from the coffee grinder down. So this is actually a Krups 223A coffee grinder, which is what they used in the movie. Beans go in the top and coffee comes out of the bottom there in the little cup. So obviously it's got the correct decals on. Now the base of this thing was called a Singer Libroscope, which is a piece of 60s computer gear, which was basically just the black base that they used in the movie. As far as we know, the lid was custom made. So um, you can't really track those down anymore. And the last reported sale of one, someone tracked one down in the US. I think they paid $700 for it, I read in the Replica Prop Forum. So I decided to 3D print one, so I drew the whole thing up in CAD. It didn't fit in my 3D printer, so I had to slice the base into eight slices. I don't know if you can see the seam lines there. And each slice into two, and each print was a two hour print, and another eight sections for the lid plus the catch. So uh, it's quite a lot of 3D printing. You can see the videos in my channel. Uh, there's three parts on how I made the whole thing. But I'm going to be carrying this around with me to be Martin McFly. I also have some other supporting items, including the Corrector Digital Watch, which is the Casio CA53W, which I don't know if you can, these are still made new, but I picked up on eBay and it was £17, the calculator watch. I have an Awa Walkman and some 80s retro headphones. These are actually new headphones made by SoundLab, which cost about £3. And this is my actual Walkman from the 90s. It isn't the right model, but it is the right make. So I'd have to do, and I couldn't find a Van Halen tape, or in fact any tapes to write Van Halen on. Um, I had to 3D print a replacement belt clip because I've lost the one in the last 20 years or so. And I've also got these white shoes. Obviously Marty McFly had Nike trainers uh, with the red tick and the uh, silhouette uh, Nike logo on the back, which um, you, well, they're really sought after, so they're really hard to find. These shoes were three pounds from Primark. Um, obviously they're just white, so the plan is to modify them and put the red parts on. So I'm going to plan to 3D print those parts in Ninja Flex rubber. So let's have a look at some CAD. So the plan is to put the red Nike tick down each side of the shoe and also the back of the shoe has um, Nike written on in a kind of cutout or at least it's white on red. So I use the import SVG function of Autodesk 123D Design to import the logo, the Nike logo, which I found on Google Images. This is a scalable vector graphic which means that you can scale it to any size and its um, format is basically a, mathema a mathematical calculation or a formula or kind of basically the coordinates in a file so you can scale it to any size and it keeps its resolution um, and I've extruded this to make it about 2mm thick and the middle part there is 3mm thick 
and I drew that out with the, uh, the sketching tools in 123D Design, the spline tool. And then I used the text tool to put the text in the middle and extruded it through. Um, and that piece is three mil thick, so it's got a um, an edge basically between the ticks. So we're gonna print this off on the Lolzbot Taz 3 with the Flexi Struder in Red Ninja Flex, which I handily already have. And we'll print a pair of those, and then we're gonna just basically glue them onto the shoes. All right, so here are my shoes and here are my Nike logos, which I've printed, which are pretty good. So um, the back of the shoe isn't quite as high as it should be, but if I stick this on here so that you can see the logo through, most of these are gonna be covered by the bottom of my jeans anyway, so you're not really gonna see it. Um, but obviously you can see that makes a considerable difference to my three pound shoes. So obviously that goes round and um, sticks on both sides. And then I'm a little bit more like Marty McFly. So I'm going to stick this on to both shoes um, with Gorilla Glue, which is incredibly strong glue and apparently sticks Ninja Flex really well. And obviously the fabric is gonna stick really well. So let's get those glued on and see how it comes up. Right, so the glue's been drying overnight. I use Gorilla Glue for all of it and I use these clamps to clamp the Ninja Flex onto the fabric. It seems to have stuck incredibly well. Let's just have a look at one of those shoes. So they look a lot more like Marty McFly's shoes and I don't think I can even peel that off. It seems to have stuck extremely well. It'll be good enough at least for one day. So there we go. Not too bad for a pair of three pound shoes. So if you want to see me actually wearing it, you'll either have to be at MCM the weekend or you can watch my vlog of MCM, which will probably be up next weekend. So that's all I've got for this short vlog. Thanks for watching, don't forget to check out my other projects in my channel, including my giant Hulkbuster suit, my Iron Man suit, and also my 3D printed alien xenomorph arms.